Hey, hey, everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Rick Games, and welcome to a game called One Night Stand. And now that sounds very sexual because it is. This is a game not necessarily for children, but don't worry, there's no nudity or anything in this game. Uh, this is, you have a one night stand with a girl, you get very drunk, go home with a girl, and what do you do the next day? That's a, it's a choice-based game. So we're going to jump right in here and see what's what. Uh, there are settings here. Do I need them? Is there a text autoplay? I don't see any subtitles or anything. Oh, well. There's a load game, huh? I don't think that's going to help us at all. That didn't help. I thought that eventually subtitles would come up, and it's it's not. How many um how many languages? I mean, good for the developers. They put that in a lot of different languages. Okay, load game. Uh, I'm loading a game here, and it doesn't matter. There we go. To save on one night stand, select save game from the pause menu and choose a slot. Okay, sounds great. And here we go. Ugh. My head. My stomach. I feel like crap. Uh, last night, what happened? I don't know who this voice is. Sure. Drink. Lots of drink happened. Ugh, what's that noise? Uh, 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 my phone. Where is my phone? <laughs> I'm going to guess this guy's dumb. So the search around the room, bring up the cursor using the left stick. Okay. Is that my phone? Got it. Sh shut up, phone! Mike, what the hell happened to you last night? Gary, what does he want? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was out with Gary last night. He doesn't sound too happy with me, though. Should I respond? Yes. I have no idea, but I woke up with a banging hangover. You? Low battery? Crap. My phone is about to die. I better plug it in before the battery runs out. Where's my phone charger? <laughs> That's not it. That's not it either. My phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Wait. This isn't my bedside table. This isn't even my room. Where am I? My clothes, they're all over the floor. <laughs> so dramatic. Am I? I'm completely naked. Uh, oh. Whoa. Who's she? Why am I in her bed? Did, did we hook up? You better hope so. Uh... Okay, this must be her room. Well, that's pretty baggy. She's got a guitar. I hope this is her room. But who is she? Dude, you bailed on me. I gave up a date to go drinking with you, and you won't wander off after one round. What the hell? Gary ditched his date, and I ditched him? She. Did I really leave after one round of drinks? I can't remember. I'm almost Dr. Teeth at this point from the Muppets. Uh, Gav knew about the situation I was in. He might be able to laugh it off or give me some information at least. Should I tell Gary about this girl? Yes. Mate, I'm really sorry about last night, but I just woke up in some girl's bed. Hopefully Gary can shed some light on this situation. Ha, bullshit. You're crap at pulling, mate. You're going to need a better excuse than that. Gee, thanks for the vote of confidence, Gary. Shit. 
I can't remember anything that happened last night. It's such a blur. Even Gary seems to ring a bell, but I don't even know who this girl is lying next to me is. And where the heck am I? I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. No, I'm all right. This is going to be so awkward when she wakes up. Oh, this hangover is not helping. Well, if Gary is not going to take my word for it, I could take a sneaky picture. It would definitely shut him up. What should I do? Do not take a... You know what? This guy would. This guy would. Crab and pulling, eh, Gary? Snap. Here's a picture. What do you think about that, bitch? All right, we're just we're just gonna wait for him to respond. Me one, Gary zero. Ha! Ah, my phone's completely dead now, and I'm still no closer to finding out what happened last night. What should I do now? Wake her up, go back to sleep, get out of here. This guy's a piece of crap. Gonna say, gonna say, get out of here. I need to get the hell out of here before she wakes up. I better get dressed. Ah, what the? Did she just throw the covers over me? She's, she's gone. Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. I wonder if she wants me to leave. I mean. What's this? I have a empty bottle of uh, that that sounds like we've been there. We found the culprit behind this hangover, but I don't normally drink red wine. It's a romance novel. Eyes of embrace. Eyes of embrace. The synopsis reads: Daisy Dutton escapes her humble country roots to find true love in a city, bustling with single bachelors. But it'll take more than this country girl's charm to overcome the modern day conveniences of online dating and Tinder hookups. It even says it was a summer bestseller. It sounds trashy. I bet it's full of poorly written sex scenes. This must be her wallet. I really shouldn't be looking through like this, but then again, this might contain some useful information about her, a driver's license, an ID card, something with her date of birth or name at least. Why do you need her date of birth? Dear God, I hope she's over 18. Should I look at her wallet? Here goes nothing. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, she came back out. Oh, hello. Oh, hey. Uh, what should I say? Uh, hey. Sorry for dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. It's okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by bed covers. Sorry, I woke up feeling pretty dodgy and had to dash to the bathroom. I see. Is everything okay? Uh, I don't want to go into it. Oh, right. Uh, have you been awake long? Not really. I was woken up by my phone buzzing. I wonder what that was. It woke me up, too. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is uncomfortable. They got something to talk about. Uh, wine. You know, you shouldn't have spoiled me with that fancy bottle of wine. Fancy bottle of wine? Oh, that's not fancy. No? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. I saved the fancy stuff for special occasions. Uh, I'll try not to take that as an insult. I don't usually drink wine. No, I'm pretty sure we didn't drink here last night. That bottle's just what I keep by my bed. You keep a bottle of red wine by your bed? Yeah, I like to pour myself a glass when I read in bed sometimes. All right. Something wrong with that? Uh, no. Good. Gee, I guess I can't blame this hangover on the wine then. Maybe I should have asked her something more relevant, but what? This all feels awkward as hell. Ask about, uh, uh, her? I feel like I should know more about her. But to directly ask, I don't think she'd be too happy with me. Uh, nice apartment you have here. Oh, thanks. I share with my flatmates. 
That didn't help much. What's up? You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? Uh, it's just a hangover. Don't worry about it. Well, I'm not surprised. You already had quite a few drinks before I met you last night. Quite a few drinks. Didn't Gary say I only had one round? I'm going to get myself a coffee. Do you want anything? Uh, I'll take a coffee, I guess. Coffee will help me shake off this hangover. Is that okay? Sure, I'll go put the kettle on. Hope you don't mind. Instant. How do you take it? Instant. Uh, white. Uh, uh, I'll just black. Just black, please. Okay, sure thing. One minute. Okay, she's gone. I gotta try and keep it cool. I don't want her to find out that I can't remember her. Oh, I hope I haven't weirded her out already. She seems nice. Still, I'm no closer to finding out what happened last night. Clearly, that wine wasn't involved. Uh, let's see. Well, my, I know my phone's dead. Completely out of juice. My phone was a dead. I might have been able to find out what's going on or where I am, at least. It's a pile of magazines. There's some music and gaming mags here. Some of the articles sound pretty interesting. Shame I don't have time to read them now. Oh, she's back. Here. Thanks, it smells good. I hope you like it strong. It's great. Thank you. You holding up okay? Holding up? I have no idea. Uh, yeah, okay, thanks. Good. Uh, what should I talk about? Uh, romance novel? I see you're reading, reading Eyes of Embrace. <laughs> you found one of my vices. Yeah, I'm a sucker for romance novels. Normally I can't put these things down once I started. But this one's, I don't know, it's kind of trashy. Hey, nailed it! Trashy? Don't get me wrong, I see why people like this stuff. It is a bestseller after all. Call me old-fashioned. I just prefer the works of Austin and Bronte way more. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. You can't beat the classics, huh? But I'll finish it anyway. Really? Even though you're not enjoying it? Yeah, of course. I hate to leave a book half-read. I always try to see them through to the end, no matter how trashy they are. It feels a bit awkward again. I should really cut to the chase and ask her about last night. She must know something. So that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was all right. You know, I owe you my thanks. Thanks? I was feeling pretty down last night. I always brushed off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. A dating app? Is that how we met? But a friend of mine met his girlfriend on there, so I thought I'd give it a try. So it took me a while to work up the courage to go through with it. Finding the right guy, getting to know him, eventually agreeing to meet. And then he doesn't even show up. Oh! What an asshole. <laughs> okay, I think I can assume that the asshole she's talking about isn't me. Yeah, don't shit. I was there for, oh, I was there for over an hour on my own. After that, I was ready to jump into a taxi, go home, and shut myself in for days. But then you showed up. I'm glad you did. I saw I was down, bought me a drink, and cheered me up. I did? Yeah, I remember you sympathizing with me a lot. You listened to me go on and on about that dating app, douchebag. Oh, that dating app douchebag. Ha <laughs> ha! So thanks to you, the night wasn't ruined. Oh, so she got stood up last night. And we must have met after that. Maybe I was just a shoulder for her to cry on, although I did end up here. Whatever the case, it explains why I ended up abandoning Gary last night a little. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. I'm glad you had a good night in the end. Although, I think my mate's a little pissed at me for ditching him. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. We were just in the middle of a bar crawl. I'm sure he'll get over it. I didn't realize you were out with anyone else. Yeah, well, I was out with Gary. We started at this bar his bro recommended, I think. Gary? Huh? Uh, it's nothing. Hold on, which bar? Oh, wait a minute. It's Gary the guy that was... Oh, no. Uh-oh, she's on to me. I can't remember anything. I have no idea which bar. Which bar did you go to with your friends? I don't remember. I'm just going to be honest. I don't really... 
heart heart beats bar my the heart's beating in my head uh heart beats bar i never heard of it uh yeah well you have no idea do you it was a wild guess whoa what you don't even remember the bar you were at with your friends that's the first place you went you mustn't remember anything then Wait, do you even remember my name? Uh, oh my god! This is humiliating! So you don't remember anything? Uh, no. Maybe I can fill you in with what I know. Um, I'm gonna continue to lie. Please do. There's no need. There's no need. I remember you, Vanessa. You don't have to put on a front, you know. Anyone would be hazy if they'd been drinking as much as you. So I drank a lot then. Yeah, and only I saw how much you drink whilst you were with me. What? <laughs> That's funny, though. What? I'd be pretty freaked out if I couldn't remember how many drinks I had. <laughs> yeah. You have no idea. We should probably call that cab driver to apologize for throwing up all over his back seat, too. Huh? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Oh? Someone's at the front door! One minute. You won't want to put some pants on. Hmm, there's still so many things I don't remember about last night. Maybe I can find some more clues around here. I'm definitely going through the wallet. Sorry. What? Nah, God, you're not going to let me do that? All right, what's this? What's... I mean... Frilly... I don't know what I just hit. I don't have my boxer shorts, but that's no reason for me to steal a girl's underwear. What's this? Sock. My underwear's under there. I wonder how these ended up on her side of the bed. I'll put them on. Oh, sorry about that. Who was at the door? Just the mailman who ordered some books online. I wonder if she answered it dressed like that. Well, you found your boxers, I see. Yeah. I'm gonna need more. I'm gonna need more than those to leave here, though. Listen about last night. Yeah. Going out, meeting a total stranger, and bringing them here home. This isn't something I normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. She never had a one night stand before. Have you ever done anything like this before? Uh, no, baby. You're my first. That's reassuring. It makes me feel a bit less uncomfortable about the whole thing. There you go. See, I'm being nice. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't want this to be... Oops, I missed it. I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up or whilst I was out of the room. She says whilst a lot. I don't know. You were nice to me last night. But I did expect you to leave. I don't mean you still being here is bad or anything. <laughs> She is happy I'm still here. I must have managed to make a good impression then, all things considered. Uh, look, we didn't really have to... We didn't really get to know each other last night all that well. That's not what it said. Or if we did, we barely remember it. I've ranted enough about my date troubles. <clears throat> I've talked enough about me. Tell me about you. You haven't talked enough about you. I still don't know your name. Tell me something about you. Uh, like what? Anything. Maybe if we get to know each other a little better, this could be different. Different? Like, I don't know. Not as weird. Yeah, I guess. What should I tell her about myself? Uh, hobbies, friends, personality. Personality. I guess I should start with... Uh, huh? Sorry, I'll be right back. She's gone again. That was strange. She seemed okay until I opened my mouth. What should I do? Wait. I'll wait for her to come back. Maybe I can look around some more. What's over here? Uh, I found my jeans. They look a bit dirty, though. Where did that stain come from? Hey, they're probably still good for another day or two. I'll put them on. Hang on, there's something in my pocket. Sandbar, five cocktails, you get your six for free. Sandbar, huh? 
I know this place, they do good cocktails. Judging from this, I ordered my fair share of cocktails. The card is fully stacked. Wow, I drank five cocktails? No wonder I didn't end up crack cashing it in. <laughs> What's this? Condom. Well, the wrapper, at least. Seems we had some sense last night. At least that's one mystery wrapped up. <laughs> oh, hello. Hey, you okay? Not really. Just felt sick all of a sudden. Maybe it was something I ate last night. Or too much drink. Is that my phone? Wait, my phone is still dead. What What the hell is this? Huh? My friend just sent me a naked photo of me? Did you take a picture of me while I was sleeping? Oh, shit. A picture I took to Gary somehow. Huh? Oh my god, you did something like that? This is all over my feed. What? How would Gary get that to her? Everyone's sharing this picture of me. All my friends can see this. And my family, my brother is on here. It was up your naked back. There wasn't actually any nudity. What's wrong with you? Why did you do this? I told you it was a crappy thing to do. Uh, I need a proof. A memento. It's on your back. I mean, yeah, it's on your back. You could be, you could be anyone. Oh right, yeah, that makes me feel better. You put that up with, without me knowing. I was asleep for God's sake. I didn't put it up. It was. Just get out of here! But please just get out of here! You barely remember last night. Now I wish I couldn't either. Grab your things and just Just get out of here. <laughs> She's just gonna stand. <laughs> Alright. You quickly gather your belongings and leave. The girl doesn't even say goodbye. She stays in the room while you fumble with the lock on the door. Eventually it opens up and you leave the house. You didn't expect her to get so upset. You walk hesitantly down the street, wondering how you're going to get home. That was awkward. I wonder if things could have been different. Congratulations, you unlocked the ending, going viral. Cool. <laughs> uh, always be careful when posting photographs online. I didn't. That's not what I did. What I did wasn't good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I don't need to view the picture. Get out of here. Get out. What? Why? Why are you doing this? Okay. You finished your first playthrough of One Night Stand. By replaying the game and doing things differently, you can experience new endings. If you want to skip the dialogue... I'm sorry, that was gross. My nose is very stuffed. If you want to skip the dialogue on another playthrough, select Fast Forward in the Pause menu or hold R1. Okay. So, where's the fast forward one? Scene text. Okay. All right. I guess I didn't save it all. All right. Let's start. I want to start it again. Let's do things right this time. Let's do things how I would do them. Uh my head, my stomach. Uh, I feel like crap. Last night, what happened? Uh, we, we, my phone. Where's my phone? Oh, it's right here. Got it. Shut up, phone. Uh huh. What do you want, Gary? Oh, yeah, I was out with Gary last night. Didn't sound too happy with me. Should I respond? Yes. I have no idea, but I woke up with a hangover. You? Ah, my phone's about to die. Better plug it in. Where's my phone charger? That's not it. That's not it. Phone charger has to be around here somewhere. Wait. This isn't my bedside table. This isn't even my room. Where am I? My clothes are all over the floor. Am I? I'm completely naked. There's a lady. Whoa, who's she? Why am I in her bed? Do we hook up? This must be her room. I hope this is her room. But who is she? You bailed on me after one round. What the hell? He did just hate, not just him. Shit, I really did. Ah, I can't remember anything. Gary knew the situation I was in. He missed people. Okay. Uh, no. I'll let Gary stay mad at me for a while. Who I woke up next to isn't any of his business anyway. Uh-huh. 
Shit, I can't remember anything that happened last night. It's such a blur. Even Gary seems to ring a bell, but I don't even know who this girl. I'm lying, but who? What? She seems. She's it's gonna be so awkward. Oh, this hangover isn't helping. I should check my phone. Maybe I've been tagged in some photos. Maybe I can piece together what happened. What are you doing, phone? Ah, come on. I knew I should have updated the OS on this thing. It's been slow ever since. And now it's dead. What should I do now? I mean, wake her up. I need answers and I need them now. Ah, oh, what the hell? She just threw the blanket on me. She's gone. Maybe she's a little freaked out about all this. I know I am. Oh, I know I am. I wonder if she wants me to leave. I'm not going to go home. It must be her wallet. I really shouldn't look through this. I need answers. Investigate. Membership card. Uh, her name's Louise. 26 years old. It's older than I thought. I wonder if it's legit. Okay, stop searching. That's all we needed. Can't look through all that. Okay. And my underwear's under there. Got that underwear. Got that underwear, dog. And I know my jeans are in here. I'll put them on. There's something in the pocket. We went to the sandbar. I've forgotten her name already. Julia? Is that it? Oh, hey. Oh, hey! <laughs> She's got the raspy voice now? Okay. Uh, uh, what should I say? Um, You okay? Yeah, sorry for dashing out in the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. Uh, it's okay. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by bed covers. Uh, sorry, I woke up feeling uh, pukey. Uh, everything all right? Uh, let's not talk about it. Ah, uh, you managed to put some clothes on. Well, some of them. Still need to find my shirt. You been awake long? Uh, phone. Uh, let's ask about... Whoops. What time is it? Uh, it's coming up on 10 a.m. You, you don't look so good. You feeling okay? No, I feel pretty terrible. Just a hangover, I'm sure. I can't say I'm surprised. You were putting him away, you son of a bitch. There's a lot stamped off on that card, but Gary said they only had one round. You don't want to give myself a coffee? You want anything? Um, I'll take a coffee. Uh, how do you, ah, I didn't mean to take it black. I wanted to find out what white coffee is. I'm sure that's just coffee with milk, but... Maybe milk and two sugars or whatever. Try and keep it cool. Don't want to find out. I can't remember. Hope I didn't. We were out of rage. She, she seems cool. She seems cool. She's got a guitar. She seems cool. Uh, Let's see. Okay. Condom. And... Flyer. Okay. Paradox Monday Manus. Free entry. Vaguely remember being in a nightclub last night. Must have been here. But I wonder what happened to Gary. Thanks. Smells good. Hope you like it strong. <laughs> it's great. Thanks. Are you heard you that bouquet? Holding up. I have no idea. Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. It's awkward again. Uh, she really cuts with the chase and asks about last night. She must know something. So that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was all right. I'm just saying, you know. Think of who you might think. So uh, this is the down last night dating app. Friend of mine, courage, getting to know him, doesn't show up. Wait it is here. Uh, over an hour, shut myself in, and you showed up, brought me some drinks, sympathizing, listen to me about the dating app douchebag. <laughs> so thanks to you, the night wasn't ruined. Uh, 
Okay. Okay. There we go. It's nothing. Hold on. Which bar? She's on to me. Uh, sandbar. Yeah, why? That means you left and went back. What? Huh? That was the last place I remember going with you. You mean we went to more than one bar together? Um, yeah. Wait, you don't remember that? Oh, it seems like your memory is a little fuzzy. Well, I did remember your name, Louise. Whoa, did, what did you just call me? Louise. Why? That's your name, isn't it? Uh, no. Don't you remember me telling you my name last night? Should I take that as a no? How'd you come up with Louise? Hang on, did you look through my wallet? Uh, I don't believe this. How could you do that? Because I couldn't remember. Look, could you just get out? Oh, man. Uh, snooping around asking questions and I don't even know you while you're still here. All right. Uh, stood outside of her house. Louise or whoever furiously slams the door behind you. You are outside alone, topless. You ring the doorbell, but she doesn't answer. You yell and bang on the door, but the nose only starts to attract a one attention. You decide to leave. Oh, there's me. I'm Finn. I'm happy about that. <laughs> I suddenly like this universe. You spot some laundry left out by a neighbor and seize the opportunity to cover yourself up. Wrapping a stranger's bedsheet over your bare shoulders, you try to find your way home. Why was there a cop siren? Was I getting arrested for stealing clothes? At least I grabbed my jeans. It could have been worse. <laughs> All right. All right. We're going to do this again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm still going to do this like what I would do. I really thought you had to go through her wallet to get her her name. It's like, all right, she's going to be pissed if I don't remember her name. Yeah, my phone. Where's my phone? It's right there. Got it. Shut up. What do you want? I was out with Gary. Doesn't sound too happy. Yeah, let me respond. Oh, my phone's about to die. Better plug it in. Where's my phone charger? That's not it. That's not it. This isn't my bedside table. This isn't my room. Where am I? My clothes are on the floor. I'm naked. Who's that? Why am I in her bed? We hooked up. This is her room, I hope. Mm -hmm. Who is she? I bailed on Gary after one round of drinks. If Gary knew about the situation, mm, no. Let Gary stay mad. Can't remember anything. It's such a blur. Even Gary sees a real bell, but I don't know who this girl is. Hangover's not helping. Check my phone. Okay, what are you doing, phone? I ah, basic crap. And yeah, my phone died. I'm going back to sleep. Gotta kick back and wait for this whole thing to blow over. I can't sleep. I mean, I don't know who this person. What the hell? You just threw the covers on me, and she's gone. Uh, maybe she wants me to leave. What happens if I just leave? Need to find my clothes before I think about leaving. Okay. Uh, pants are here. Uh, something in the pocket. Okay. Okay. Her underwear drawer. I'm not going to look through there. All right, good. Well, you're not the biggest piece of shit. How's my shirt? All right, got my shirt. Oh hey, hey, how's it going? Yeah, I got my got my clothes. Hey oh <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say anything. Sorry for dashing out of the room like that, hoping it didn't freak you out or anything. Ah, it's all right, just a little shocked and smothered. You had the uh, you're dodgy, I got you. You're right. No, you don't wanna write, yeah, that's fine. 
Put some clothes on, huh? Yeah, I could use some underwear. Though. You've been awake long now. Phone buzzing, huh? Yeah, woke me up too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I mean, what do you got? What do you got to do? Ask you something. Damn it! I clicked it too fast again. 10 a.m. You don't look so good. Ah, uh, terrible. All right, quite a few drinks. Carry one round. Painkillers. Give me painkillers today. Okay, is that all right? Yeah, yeah. We, we. We, there's a we. Is somebody else here? Ah, uh, she's gone. I'm trying to keep it cool. Don't want her to find out. I can't remember her. Ah, uh, yeah, she seems cool. <coughs> All right, here's your underwear. Did I say should just walk past her? Door's locked, so unlock it. Throw one budge. Uh oh. There's no key here. Anything in the spot? Oh, looky loo, a key. Seems I don't like I'm unlocked. Door still won't budge. Yeah, cool. Peace. Step through and don't look back. You wonder if she spotted you leaving. She did. You feel guilty having just asked the girl for painkillers then bailing, but you had no desire to find out more about her. You've been pleasant to her for long enough. She seemed all right enough, but you're glad to be out of there. You hurriedly walk down the street with no idea of how you're going to get home. Wow, what is this a piece of crap? And what if I did the right thing? No, you didn't. You're just like, peace, deuces, got here. Six, seven, eight, nine. There's still nine more endings to go. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it again. Why not? Do it one more time. Let's go. Okay. My head, my stomach. I feel like crap. Last night, what happened? Lots of drinks. What's that noise? Where's my phone? It's right there. Shut up, phone. What you want, Gary? No. Too long over. Go away. My phone's about to die anyway, so shut up. Where's my phone charger? That's not my bedside table, and this isn't my room. Where am I? My clothes are on the floor. Who is this person? Why am I in her bed? This must be her room. Who is she? Get an excuse for bailing after one round of drinks. Ah, uh, fine. If Gary knew about the situation I was in, I'll tell him this time. Uh, okay, thanks for the vote of confidence, dickweed. I uh, can't remember anything. Such a blur. Leaving Gary rings a bell, but who the hell is this person? This hangover isn't helping. Now I'm not going to take a sneaky picture. Not going to stoop to that, Gary. Gary can think what the hell he wants. Ah, my phone died anyway. Still no closer to find out what happened last night. What should I do now? Wake her up. And now I'm covered in blankets, so I don't get to wake her up. Ever. Wonder if she wants me to leave. She doesn't. Let's get some clothes, though. And my underwear. Alright, I'm not gonna go through... Is there anything else on her desk that I can check out? What's this? Little box. Open it. Yep. A pair of her earrings. Actually quite heavy. They must be old. Don't think she wore these last night. Don't remember them. Then again, what do I remember? Anything else? What's this? Pack of pills on the bedside. Maybe they'd help with this hangover? Can't make out the name of the packet. It's not very clear what they do, either. I can make out some of the side effects, though. Drowsiness, dizziness, and memory problems may occur. What? Did she drug me? Hey. What should I say? Hey. Hey. Sorry for dashing out of the room. 
Little Shakran is suddenly smothered by covers. <coughs> Everything okay? Oh, you had to puke? Great. Found your boxers, I see. Uh, woken up by the phone buzzing. Okay. Uncomfortable. Pills. Notice there were some pills on your bedside table. Why were you looking at that? those? My hangover. You shouldn't just take any old pills. I didn't. Just ask if you want painkillers or something. You didn't take any of those, did you? No. Good. If you take one of the pills, you probably could be completely out of it. Completely out of it. Anyway, please don't snip around my private stuff. What? Are you kidding me? It was sitting here on the bedside table. I feel like she's hiding something. Maybe I saw them there last night and I took them thinking they were aspirin or ecstasy. Who knows? Something more relevant, but what? Ask about... Hangover. Did you wake up with a horrendous hangover? Just a bit. I felt a little nauseous. Shaking the whole table, sorry. Uh, surprisingly, not hardly surprising after the night we had. Looks like you're feeling the brunt of it, though. You don't look too great. Are you feeling okay? I feel terrible. Probably just a hangover. Uh, putting them away. You want a coffee? Or I'll take those painkillers. We should have some lying around in the bathroom cabinet. Who's we, son of a bitch? Try and keep cool. Ah, still cool. It's weird that she was like, don't snoop around my personal things. I didn't. They were laying on the count on the fucking thing next to me. Ah, right, these are probably good. Sandbar, great. Yeah, drank five cocktails. Let's go. Shirt. Okay. We got all my clothes. Here you go. Thanks. Hope that helped. Wait, are these definitely painkillers? Those side effects I read earlier, I have a bad feeling. I better take them anyway. She looks suspect. What? They're pretty strong, so they should have... They should knock that hangover on its ass. Ha ha ha. Oh, God, I hope it'll be okay. Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Good. And it's awkward again. Earrings. Forget it. No, don't talk about... Feels a bit awkward again. I should really cut to the chase and ask about last night. Quite a night, huh? Thank you. I owe you my thanks. Uh, this whole thing. Fast forwarding. Uh, Shoulder the crown. Ended up here. Can't remember anything. Uh, the stray sheep. Are you sure? You have no idea, do you? Oh, my God. You don't even remember the bar? That's the first place you went. You must remember anything, then. Do you even remember my name? This is humiliating. Please do, yes. I'm waiting at the bar, the Paradox Nightclub, around 10 p.m. I've been waiting there a while. So she started off at the Paradox? Which means I was at the Paradox. Why was I at the Paradox? Pretty tipsy and vaguely remember you approaching me. You didn't seem too drunk. We had a round together and then got chatting. We found a secluded spot and got to know each other, although Paradox got louder as the night went on. That's when you suggested we go elsewhere. Sandbar? Uh-huh. So you remember a little. But soon as it began to get pretty fuzzy, I don't remember much. I don't think either of us were in a good state to make decisions. Somehow we grabbed a taxi, and I guess we ended up here. Okay. That's all I recall, anyways. For you and your friends, I have no idea what happened. No worries. Thanks for helping me fill in some blanks. It's helped a little, but uh, embarrassing. Oh, someone's at the front door. One minute. Guess what she gave me were painkillers after all. Fast acting as well. 
So uh, made it any easier for me to remember what happened last night. Maybe I can find some more clues around here. Condom. Okay. Thank God. I almost hit go home. Uh, Paradox Madness. Matches what she told me. And you're back. Can I get out of bed? Who was at the door? Just a mailman. Ordered some books online. I wonder if, uh, if she answered the door like that. Let's get to know her a little bit more. Not asking about the earrings. Going out, meeting a total stranger, bringing them here. This is her home. That's a relief. Uh, have you ever done anything like this before? Yes. This isn't my first time. That's kind of worrying. So your business is your business. We took precautions anyway, so we're probably fine. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want this to be typical. Why is it worrying? I'm sorry. Did you think I was sitting on a block of ice waiting for you to stop by? I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up. I don't know. You were nice to me last night, but I did expect you to leave. I don't mean you still being here is a bad or anything. She's happy I'm still here. Must have managed to make a good impression. Didn't really get to know each other that well. I've ranted enough about my date troubles. Tell me about you. Tell me something about you. Let's, uh, maybe this can be different. What should I tell her? Whoops. And now she's going to go puke. I didn't mean to do that. I'm not going to go through that. Laptop. No. Bit of a rocker or a goth? Hey, I'm standing up now. I got maybe I can get some nut. <coughs> offer help. Offer to leave. Continue conversation. I'm going to offer help. Just need to get some rest. Are you sure? Yeah, sorry. Quickly grab my phone and get out. Got all my stuff. Cool. Bus station down the road. Thanks. I appreciate we had a nice time last night, and I am grateful for that. Don't feel very well right now. How should I respond? I need to see you again. Stay friends or no problem. Let's ask her out again. I don't want to leave here and never see you again. I'd really hate for us to end things like this. Us? There is no us. There's a me and a you. Like I said, I did have a nice time and I do appreciate you didn't bail on me. But I'm sure some people find something deep in a one night stand, but I don't. I don't want it to be like this. You went home with me willingly. Please don't take this the wrong way. It's just we're supposed to go our separate ways, right? This That's how this should go. Why? No strings attached and all that. Who said that? Let's just forget the whole thing. All right. Well, screw you then. See you later. I thought they were going to high five for a second. All right, cool. Nice sex. <laughs> The girl sees you to the door. The mood is awkwardly silent. You sense she's uncomfortable. Before you get the chance to say goodbye, you notice the door is already closed behind you. It upset you. You find a small amount of comfort in knowing that you at least took precautions last night. You step out into the street and make your way to the bus station. That's it, really? I wonder how else that could have played out. Eh, maybe I shouldn't have told her that I had more one-night stands. I don't know. All right, well, I'm going to leave this episode here, man. Um, this is cool. This is a fun game. It's a fun little what do you do when you wake up in some stranger's bed with no memory of uh, the night before. Uh, I'm worried that there's those pills on the bedside table. I don't think she drugged me. I think I took them thinking there was something else, and that's why I can't remember anything. Maybe I thought that there were some kind of, hey, cool, let's get high, man, one of those type pills, but... Uh, like roofies or something. Right? That's what roofies do, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I 
I'm not the drug type of man. I've never taken anything that like made me forget the entire night completely. Well, alcohol, yes, but that's on the rarest of occasions. Hey, we were all in our 20s once. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave this episode here. If you liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe to Rick Games. Helps me out a lot when you do that. And check out the annotations at the end of the video for more videos than I've done. And next time on Rick Games. Ah! I don't know. Maybe we'll play more of this. This was fun. We have plenty more endings to get to. So maybe I'll do that next time on Rick Games. Bye.